fall officially here, which means, of course, cold and flu season is not far behind. And, but when those aches, fever, and chills start, do you know which is which? Both can make you feel miserable, but the best ways to treat and minimize symptoms are very different. Here with all the details, family medicine physician, Dr. Shilpi Agarwal. Thank you for coming in. We're going to have morning. a little quiz morning. here, right? Yeah, we're going to yeah. do a game today. So okay, cool. I think this is great because it's hard let's to know what it. you have. I'm ready. I've been studying all night. <laughs> oh, perfect. So then you should beat them, huh? All right. So the first question is to determine whether you're having a cold or the flu. Mm -hmm. You wake up in the morning and you're just wiped out. You have shaking chills, really bad fever, and you are exhausted. Do you guys think that this is the cold or the flu? I think it's, it's... work every day. <laughs> but I'm going to go for it. Are we right? You guys are absolutely right. Remember, both the cold right. and flu are caused by viruses. What makes them really different is that the flu is much more severe. So you're going to have horrible body aches, fevers, chills. Just people say, a truck hit me. I feel horrible. Right. Cold, on the other hand, much of a slower onset in symptoms. And also, you don't feel that bad. You can still get through your day and be OK. 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 Next one. question. Right. Next one. You start with a sore throat, and it's going on for a couple of days. You also develop a cough. Wait, is that you, feel, Allison? Feeling yeah, a Allison little bit happens. tired. So I know that this is a cold. Cold. You guys are really good. Yeah. We talk about just this like every day, I think. Right. Cold and flu season. Yes. <laughs> it seems like we're always in it. Yeah. As we were saying, the real difference is the onset of action. Mm -hmm. So a flu, you're going to get right away. You get wiped out. You get hit with it. Cold, a couple of days. You may start to feel bad over the weekend. You might start feeling sort of a cough come on. A sore throat is really common or headaches. But in reality, you're able to get through your day. So not nearly as severe. You're not also often going to have a fever with colds, whereas with the flu, you get those higher number mm -hmm. of fevers, 102, 103, things like that. But the cold kind of builds a little bit more gradually. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, and colds okay. can last for up to seven days. But after that, you really take a turn for the better mm -hmm. most often. When are the you, flu, like, um, on the cold, when are you um, contagious? We want to know, because Allison was just sick. <laughs> this is revenge, because Sarah is known as Sarah the Infector Simmons. <laughs> and so now, finally, I'm the one with the cold. Yes. But please, yes. We don't want to get sick. <laughs> when is the so, contagious period? <laughs> When you're feeling symptoms, and especially if you think you have a cold, you want to do the main measures for washing your hands, trying to stay away from people. If you're sneezing or coughing, don't cough on other people. But generally speaking, you can spread it that way. The flu, on the other hand, very contagious. Mm -hmm. It can live on hard surfaces for two to eight hours. So staying home is going to be your best option for the flu. Thank you yeah, for staying home. You. You're welcome. <laughs> Now and give me a big old kiss. <laughs> you're like, no. I don't know if you're not uh, contagious. Okay. So then the next question All right, is, ready? <clears throat> antibiotics are going to help you to treat cold or flu? Ew. Oh, neither. Is it a trick question? I'm going to go cold. Okay. I, I think it's neither. You're you right, Sarah. Yeah. It's a trick question. That was good. It was. was your gut. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. It was a trick question. Trust the health reporter. Remember that they are <laughs> viruses. Mm -hmm. So for the cold, those are things that you're going to be able to treat with over-the-counter medications, rest, a lot of fluids. The flu, on the other hand, we do have a medication for called Tamiflu, which is an antiviral medication. And that's going to shorten the symptoms and severity, duration of your flu. What's you the have Z to get it. That's an antibiotic. Okay. For Tamiflu, you have to get it within the first two days of having symptoms. So it is very important mm -hmm. to see your doctor if you do think that you're having the flu. Antibiotics like z -Pak, those treat things like respiratory infections, but they're uh, bacterial in okay. origin. Now, those are the things that the doctors sometimes hand out. You know, I, I know the CDC has said mm -hmm. too frequently. So don't right. go in thinking, oh, give me the z -Pak, I'll be all good. Getting z -Pak was not going to help you with the flu. And this is why I never get over it, it, because I always put off going to see the doctor. So I'm like, I'll get over it. Right. And then I'm probably <laughs> past that two-day window, and then, and and then, then I'm stuck with it. And then you have to suffer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That, that's pretty much so what So hydration, happens. rest, staying at home, very important for the flu. Most important, though, is getting your flu shot. Everyone above six months of age should be getting the flu shot. Can a cold turn into the flu, or are they completely separate? They're caused by different viruses. Sometimes you can have a cold that weakens your immune system a little bit, and then you may be more susceptible to getting the flu, but it's not that the flu and the cold are the same thing. Fascinating stuff. Yeah. All right. Thank you, you guys doctor. are great. Yes. I, yeah, I could have really stump you. I, I, you only said at the it's end. It's fair that right. Sarah like, covers it. Hmm. Yeah. Cold or flu. Need that. All right. Thank you, Doc. Yeah.